Welcome back to another video. I had a big day yesterday. Drove all the way to Oldham, which is the other side of Manchester. I'll put a picture up of the uh, the map. Ten hour drive in the Jag. Went to get a new bonnet. Got it off a uh, eBay seller, and it was a bit of a risk driving all that way. But other, the only options I had was hire a van, which was going to be expensive because of the mileage limit and possibly needing two days because it's so far. Um, or I asked him, would he take my old bonnet and I'll just swap it over while I was there, which he did say yes to, except then I had, it's a two man job. So <laughs> I was expecting to bring Lisa with me. I didn't really want to bring her with me to be honest because she has a hard enough week. She doesn't want to be doing a 10 hour drive. Um, so that would have been two days at least and staying over somewhere. So in the end I decided I'll do it myself. <laughs> so I drove all the way to Oldham and the weather wasn't guaranteed. So I brought some covers just to cover the the engine bay and I bought, some, I bought a coat just in case it rained. But the weather seemed fine the whole way there until I got there and it wasn't raining. Um, but he said, yeah, we'll just put it down by the garages and we'll swap the bonnet over. And as soon as we started, it started raining and then it got heavier and then it got, it got absolutely torrential. And, and then it turned to hail. <laughs> there was a one moment, moment I said to him, should we just wait and see if this stops? And he goes, yeah. And then we're just standing there in the rain. I just thought, well, I might as well carry on with it now. So carried on with it. It was, yeah, phew. it wasn't that much work to swap the bonnets over. I suppose there were two of us. But with that weather, it was just crazy. The amount of um, the water came down so quick. And then obviously, you know, got them swapped over, started driving off. Sun came out. <laughs> At this point, I was absolutely drenched. My my trousers were completely soaked. Um, and I was thinking nightmare because I wanted to go and have some dinner. I wanted to have some, you know, a stop and go to a fast food restaurant at least. But um, my only option at this point was to take my trousers off. <laughs> so, yeah, I was facing four and a half hour drive in my pants, um, which I did. I took one of my shoes off as well because that was soaked. Should, definitely should have bought a spare change of clothes. Um and yeah, I just went through a drive through uh, No one could tell I was wearing pants. <laughs> Except I did need to stop for over a wee at one point. So I thought I'd do that in the middle of nowhere. And of course, get out of the car, having a wee in my pants and car comes past beeping at me. <laughs> it's like, okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, four and a half hours and couldn't hang around because I um, didn't have any trousers on, obviously. Uh, but really, really, really enjoyed it. You know, first big drive in the Jag, 10 hour journey. Um, absolutely loved it. Favourite roads up through Candovery, Newtown. I, should, I wish I wish I had a better camera set up. I'll get a better camera set up, get some cars, set, uh, get some cameras in the car. And because, yeah, lovely journey. Plus, I know there's roads like the back of my hand. I've done that many times. And yeah, the Jag just absolutely stunning around those corners. And yeah, a lot of fun. So got uh, got to get the, the bonnet fitting today. I'll, okay, I'll show you some um, some pictures of it in a minute. It's uh, obviously just thrown on in pissing rain, uh, <laughs> but it, you know it is what it is, and we'll see if we can get it looking perfect today. Here it is. Uh, as you can see, it is on, and look at the state of the car. Very yeah, well, I was out in the rain for ten hours yesterday. See the mud splats down the side. I give that a wash. Um, yeah, no more damage on the bonnet. We'll see how we get the panel gaps. We'll take all the bumper off, take the headlights off again. Might try to polish the bonnet and see because it looks like the same colour. It does look like the same colour, and that'd be really handy if we didn't have to paint that. Let's do a quick walk around the bonnet. Um, the engine bay, I put a cover over it when it was when we had the bonnet off yesterday. Obviously, it was torrential rain. The cover just had massive puddles in it. Um, seemed to, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to wash the engine bay again now. Uh, the new bonnet, though, looks good. I didn't put all the hardware on while I was there, just enough to get me home, really. And yeah, but let's stay at the car. <laughs> I mean. Blimey, first big drive in it. It's making it when it comes across the camera. It's definitely will once I clean it. So let's crack on and see what we get. How well we can get this bonnet fitting. 
got the bumper off. It's a lot more work once all the under trays and the wheel latch liners and everything are on. But finally got it off. Yeah, struggled with that, considering how easy it used to be to take it off. Um, right now we're going to take the headlights off. I'm trying to line the bonnet to start with, and then we'll reassemble the front. So I just stopped for a lunch break. Um, trying to align this bonnet to the wings, that's where I'm starting on. So far, it's taken me about, well, from this morning to lunchtime, feels like about three million years. And, well, that gap is a bit too far for my liking. And then this side, we are still just sticking out a little bit on, what you saying? Sticking out a little bit. I've tried quite a lot. And then this bit's coming down a little bit. Uh, yeah, this is a horrible job. <laughs> um, I feel like I've aged and it may have taken my soul already, but we'll continue and uh, I'll show you the results in the end. So I was trying to film the results of fitting the bonnet, uh, but it's not raining, so just have to go with it. As you can see, the panel gap's all right. I've been driving it a bit and it seems to have settled, but here, slight more gap than I want, but then I've seen a lot of good ones with that being less than you want. Headlights and bumper fit really well. This bit needs to be readjusted now, I think. But here is the problem. And you see, it's like it sticks out just a little bit. I mean, it looks fine from most angles, but that there. And then the worst angle is if you look at it from behind. You see how it kind of, it's like it sticks out a little bit. Um, I spoke to a guy down at the health club we go to and he's got a body shop and he says you know if I should spray it properly I should do all of this and blend it into the doors and do all that but that's very expensive and having looked at it having proper polished the bonnet I'm gonna say you'd be hard pressed to tell it comes from a different car I mean it's same paint code same year car so I'm not surprised it does actually match so it looks like we're just going to paint the bumper. We'll see how we get on with that. And the panel gaps. Oh, I don't want to take it all off and do it again if I have to. I will. But car's looking great now. I can drive it around and everything. So yeah, we've got the sunshine at last. Spring is here. And we want to use this car. <laughs> got it booked in two weeks time. Have the bumper repainted. A little bit of extra work on trying to get these panel gaps right. They're not right. Um, I'll probably fix them when we have the bumper off to have it resprayed. Take the bumper off and do the bonnet all over again. This here is quite a bit out now. It wasn't when I first did it. That's the thing. You do it and then you drive the car and it all changes. So all good for now um yeah we've got a new wheel on the way get that new wheel fitted head down the wheel specialist make sure they're all balanced and perfect and there's no more issues with the wheels and i'll be happy i'll be happy we're ready to book some trips abroad maybe not abroad might go scotland first nice to go abroad nice to go to france really best thing to do with it why else would you buy one i guess